I forgot to grope you goodbye. <laughs> Today, we're going to dive into the intriguing episode, Beware My Cheating Bart, the 18th of the 23rd season. The episode starts with Homer taking Bart and Milhouse to the cinema. After buying the tickets and leaving them in line for the session, he decides to go to the food court. Leaving the food court, Homer feels sick and ends up in a mall store selling gym equipment. Homer is persuaded to buy a state-of-the-art treadmill, fully equipped with a TV and programmed to encourage him to run on it. Seeing the price, Homer is disheartened. However, the salesman makes another offer and Homer ends up agreeing to buy the equipment. Leaving the cinema, Bart encounters the bullies, who ask sarcastically how the movie was. He responds sarcastically, but Milhouse appears all decorated with the movie theme, and the bullies laugh at him. Dolph suggests they watch a horror movie remake, and Shauna tells her boyfriend Jimbo not to count on her. Jimbo explains that they need to watch horror movies to know what to do in dangerous situations. Shauna refuses the same way, so Jimbo decides to find someone to go out with her, someone who wouldn't pose a threat. He looks at Milhouse, but Shauna refuses, not wanting to go with someone who embarrasses her. She then chooses Bart, and Jimbo begins to assess him. After threatening Bart, he allows Shauna to be accompanied by him. During the movie session, Shauna decides to leave before the end. They go to a stall where the seller tries to flirt with Shauna. Bart threatens the seller, revealing who her boyfriend is, and the seller quickly gets back to work. Meanwhile, Bart argues with Shauna, telling her not to even think about cheating on Jimbo. She replies that Jimbo doesn't even care about her, as he hadn't even noticed the braid in her hair. Then she shows her braid to Bart. He makes a comment that surprises her. They talk, but are interrupted by the bullies who arrive. Homer also appears with his new treadmill to pick up Bart. Before leaving, Jimbo grabs Bart by the shirt and warns that the next day, he will have a new date with his girlfriend, as he has other plans with his friends. Shauna hugs Bart and says they'll find something to do. In another scene, Homer is using his new treadmill when Lisa arrives and shows him that it's possible to access wireless TV programs. He develops an obsession with watching an old TV show on the treadmill. After finishing the first episode, he puts a chair on the treadmill to continue watching the show comfortably. In a meeting with Shauna, Bart and her are looking at products in a store when she decides to take one and put it in her bag, and pulls Bart to leave as quickly as possible. But as they pass through the store's door, the alarm goes off and a security guard approaches them, asking to search her bag. Bart remembers Jimbo's threat and decides to take the blame for Shauna. The security guard decides to take him. Shauna waits until Bart sets off a bomb in the room he was in and manages to escape. The two run away together and Shauna takes him into an abandoned store. Then she decides to give him a thank you gift by lifting her shirt and then kissing Bart on the cheek, leaving him mesmerized as she leaves him alone. At dinner time, Bart is still paralyzed from the earlier events. Marge comments that he hasn't touched his food and his grandfather offers him chicken breast. Bart gets nervous, questioning if no one realizes that he's just a child. After Marge shows the dessert, he also refuses it when he sees the shape of the cookies. In the middle of dinner, Homer decides to go back to the treadmill and Marge comments about him exercising so much, yet staying the same. Homer's father says that Marge shouldn't believe anything Homer says, recalling that the first word he said in his life was a lie. He remembers when Homer was a baby, and he asked who had scratched the wall, and Homer replied with the word, Mommy. In the basement, Homer continues on the treadmill, sitting in the chair he placed there, watching the old program he was addicted to, Marge arrives and argues with him for using the expensive treadmill just to watch TV, reminding him that when the show aired, she asked him to watch it with her, and he refused. Homer tries to justify why he's watching the show, but Marge orders him to use the treadmill to run or return it. The two start arguing about the treadmill and the TV, until Marge decides to leave, leaving Homer alone. On the street, Bart is alone when the bullies, led by Jimbo, arrive. Jimbo praises Bart, saying he did a good job staying with his girlfriend. The two kiss goodbye, and Jimbo leaves, leaving Shauna with Bart. She asks what Bart wants to do. He says he feels like pushing her into a puddle and running away, but she says she needs to be loyal to Jimbo, as he has bought her a lot of gum. Bart starts to say she deserves someone better, and she's happy to hear him say something for her benefit, and invites him to leave. However, Jimbo returns, and while he and Shauna kiss, she affectionately strokes Bart's hair. At home, Homer is still excitedly watching his program, hoping the new episode will answer some of his questions. Marge arrives, all dressed up, and tells him everyone is out and Maggie is sleeping. Homer is excited, but asks her to wait another 104 hours. 
She gets frustrated with his lack of interest and leaves, slamming the door. Homer wonders why she left and slammed the door on him. Marge gives a response, but he still doesn't go after her and focuses back on the new episode of the program. Bart and Shauna start doing various activities together, acting like a couple. At one point, they are in a pool and kiss. However, Jimbo arrives at the moment and pulls Bart out, accusing him of disrespecting him. Bart justifies it, pointing out that it's hard to respect someone who goes to the pool wearing a wool cap. Jimbo removes the cap, revealing he is bald on top, which makes Bart laugh and tease him. The bullies hold Bart so he can be beaten by Jimbo, but the lifeguard intervenes, saying rough play is prohibited. After a talk with the lifeguard, everyone realizes Bart has escaped. Bart decides to return home, hiding at every step, until he reaches home and sees the bullies hiding in his yard. Marge appears outside and tells them Bart isn't home yet, but they can wait for him. Meanwhile, Bart is hiding, and Shauna arrives, saying she came to help him. However, Bart, angry, tells her to go back to Jimbo. Shauna responds, reminding Bart of what he had said about her deserving someone better. Bart decides to take Shauna somewhere else, while the bullies help Marge hang Bart's clothes on the clothesline. Bart takes Shauna to the comic book store. After she insults the store owner, the comic book guy decides to call the bullies to inform them that Bart and Shauna are in the store. Jimbo answers the call and says they are on their way. The comic book guy and Shauna engage in a battle of taunts over the phone, and he ends up losing to her. As a result, the store owner kicks them out. But before they leave, he tries to sell them a collection, only to realize they had already left. Meanwhile, at home, Homer gathers his friends in the living room to discuss the TV show he's watching and to unravel some mysteries. Since everyone had already watched the entire show, when they start discussing what happened, Homer interrupts, saying he's still on the third season and doesn't want spoilers. His friends begin talking about the series, making Homer even more stressed. At that moment, Marge arrives, pleading for him to stop the noise because she's trying to put Maggie to sleep. He starts talking about the show with Maggie, and Marge can't stand it, and ends up revealing everything about the show to Homer, making him upset. He says that now he'll be a disappointment to her in their marriage, surprising her. The friends who are still in the living room start discussing Homer and Marge's argument and marriage. Meanwhile, Bart and Shauna are hiding in the treehouse while the bullies search for them below. The bullies surround the area, and to Bart's surprise, Lisa appears in the treehouse. He asks what she's doing there, and Lisa explains that she's been watching their situation from afar and says she might be able to help. Shauna talks about her boyfriend, Jimbo, and the difference between him and Bart. However, Jimbo arrives at the treehouse, and Lisa starts saying that Shauna shouldn't choose either of them, but should choose herself. Shauna agrees with her and begins to tell Bart that they wouldn't work out together. At that moment, Marge starts calling for Lisa, and she suggests it's the right time for them to leave. As they start to leave, Jimbo stops Bart from leaving but ends up not knowing what to do with him. Back inside their house, Homer is still angry about Marge spoiling his favorite show. She tries to do something to please him, and Homer goes to close the bedroom window. He sees Jimbo holding Bart by the legs outside the treehouse, but he just closes the window, ignoring the scene, and lies down with Marge to make up. 